Hello, and welcome to the People's Third Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of February 26th, 2021. Well, the House is scheduled to vote on the $1.9 trillion bill today, but I'll get into that a bit later in the program, so just stick with me on that one. I also have a few clips I'm going to be throwing in here that I think you guys might enjoy that actually is so related to what we're talking about as well. as I've told both Republicans and Democrats that's my preference to work together. But if I have to choose between getting help right now to Americans who are hurting so badly and getting dry, bogged down in a lengthy negotiation or compromising on a bill that's, that, that, that's up to the crisis, that's an easy choice. I'm going to help the American people who are hurting now. 1.4 million workers in the United States would lose their jobs if this mandated increase in the, in the minimum wage pushed forward by the Democrats were to become law. We're here to protect workers as well as the small businesses that provide the jobs. But the Senate parliamentarian, parliament, parliamentarian, so I can't reset really that well too fast, has ruled that the pres that President Biden's minimum wage hike violates the arcane budget rules that could basically jeopardize his $1.9 trillion stimulus proposal. The White House immediately re re released a statement after, after the parliamentarian made her ruling stating that President Biden is d disappointed in outcome as he uh, proposed having the minimum $15 minimum wage uh, as part of the American re Relief Package. Uh, he respects the parliamentarian's decision and the Senate process, so basically the minimum wage provision will be removed from the final draft of the relief package, which the final draft of the relief package will be taken care of by the Senate themselves. Nancy Pelosi said that the minimum wage will not be taken out of the House version of the bill that they're voting on later today. Sources say that the vote on this bill will happen is late in the late hours of today, this evening basically. If it hasn't already happened, which is like almost 10 o'clock my time, so most likely it's already happened, and I'll let you know what happens about that tomorrow. But um, the late hours of this evening, and I'll let you know about that tomorrow. Even though this bill is expected to pass the, the House with the majority vote of Democrats, Bernie Sanders isn't happy with a parliamentarian's choice, but he is expected to include an amendment to the bill that would take tax deductions away from large corporations that don't pay workers at least $15 an hour and provide small businesses with incentives that they need to raise wages. And the amendment must be included in this reconciliation bill is what Bernie Sanders is saying. Set the Senate Finance Committee Chairman Ron Weidman had this to say in support of Sanders' amendment. These changes would have to get approved from the par parliamentarian but it w it looks like the Senate will pivot to something like this that provides incentives for companies to increase the wages. Another cover related news, a federal judge, a federal judge from Texas ruled yesterday that the CDC eviction memoratorium is unconstitutional and the federal government doesn't have the authority to unilaterally suspend evictions. This does not mean that this eviction mandatory was going away because basically it, they, they haven't made no um, injunctions on this bill yet that can actually affect it. I mean, if they do, it might actually affect it in a way where it will actually go to the state and local um, level. So the state and local will be able to decide on whether the eviction ban will stay and for how long and stuff like that. But like I said, this federal judge says that he believes it's unconstitutional for the CDC eviction memoratorium to be in place at this present time.
but this is actually all I have right now for my uh, stimulus package and check update for all you people out there. I appreciate you for viewing, and until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. And I'll broadcast again to you tomorrow when I find out what the parliamentarian's decision is on the, uh, sorry, not the parliamentarian's decision, but the, what the House, the House representative's vote is on this. But like I said, that is expected to pass because it's the, the majority of Democrats in the House. But like I said, I'm not sure about that yet. So when I find out, I'll let you know. So until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. Bye. My mother told me someday I would buy gummies with good oars and sails to distant shores. Stand up high in the proud.